What is expected to happen now? The night team Stephen Cavazos with what the city and county are saying to be prepared for. Stephen. Steve Eces, it's important to note that these models are subject to change daily, but city officials said today during, during today's daily briefing that just because we reach our local peak doesn't mean things will instantly return to normal. Wolf, Mayor Ron Dr. Nirenberg, Don Bear Don County Emmerich, Judge Nelson Wolf, and Dr. Don Emmerich with Metro Health discussed how the models are helping them make future decisions. One model from consulting firm Oliver Wyman predicts a peak in late April with 1,700 cases. A model from the Institute for Health Metrics and Evaluation also predicts the same, but with no estimated cases. However, two models from UTSA show our peak in mid-May. Predictive mathematical modeling shows a prediction of 3,600 cases through July. AI theoretical model of scenarios predicts nearly 30,000 cases. The mayor added there are plans to put together a health transition team to interpret that data to make sure the right protocols are in place when the city does reopen. But he was adamant that things won't be quick to return to normal. If anyone is under the assumption that all of a sudden we're going to flip a switch on May 1st, they're mistaken. That's not going to happen. What we want to make sure is that we've got the right ground rules in place from the public health medical perspective before we make those decisions. Now again, these models will change day to day, but that information will help narrow down when we will actually see our peak here in San Antonio. Now, Judge Nelson Wolf says emergency orders are also subject to change depending on the data that's collected. You can take a look at those models on our website at ksat.com. Steve Isis.